Hello, this is Haka Bean, and today we are going to be reading Backrooms Level 24, also known as The Moon. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival so Difficulty Class 1 Safe, Secure, Minimal Entity Count. This is an image of the sky of level 24. That's interesting. Level 24 is the 25th level of the backrooms. It is known in the database as the study, but many people just call it the moon. Here, the database called it the moon. Oh well. Description. Level 24 takes the form of a plastic moon model attached to several other plastic planets with an LED sun in the center, all of which is complete up to scale according to those who have entered this level. The moon, which is the only accessible planet, has an estimated surface area of 14.6 million square miles. Surprisingly, none of the planets have any gravitational pull to each other, but gravity still works the same when traversing the moon. You won't be able to moon jump, for example. Planets are all connected with metal wires and slowly spin around. The area surrounding the massive tabletop solar system model due to its size is astronomically blurry and hard to see. However, it seems to be a massive, dimly lit Victorian era study room. It is undetermined if wanderers who enter the level are struck down or if the level itself is simple is simply far larger in comparison and to a normal human. While this should be impossible, it is possible to see level 24 from other levels that have a day-night cycle or a moon. They describe the same shade of gray and blue that this moon has. Basis, Outposts, and Communities Starting with the BNTG Plastic Mine Due to the moon being a solid ball of plastic, it is usually utilized by BNTG as a nearly infinite source of plastic material. Around 20 miners come here every once every two weeks to dig up into the ground and haul massive containers of plastic back to their base in level 1, which is used as to make simple weapons and make repairs. However, doing this is extremely dangerous. A 100 foot thick layer of paint covers the entirety of the moon's surface, and due to the amount of light in it, mining through it to get to the plastic releases toxic fumes. A gas mask is required for this. Euford. Very rarely, a man will enter the East study that level 24 resides in and sit down in a chair to read a, a book. He has been nicknamed Buford by miners working for the BNTG. He wears tuxedo O and is bald with a small amount of white hair. It is unclear if he uses some kind of face link or if his face is simply too blurry to make out. He is considered mostly harmless, but sometimes will walk over to a set of planets and fiddle with it or clean them with a towel. This is extremely dangerous for any wanderer in level 24, as they could be squashed or killed in earthquakes. Entrances and Exits The safest, the safest way to enter is through a painting of the moon found in level 57, but it can also be accessed through level 1. The, P and T, the B and T G has not revealed how this is possible. There is a much more way to enter, which is to no clip directly upwards to a moon seen in the sky on, elf, on outdoor or levels. While possible, this method is highly discouraged. Exits. You can ask the miners to lead you out of the level, which will take you back to level 1. Well, that was interesting. Thinking about out, 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 um, our planet just being someone's um, display of the planets for like a science fair or something is really interesting to think of. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!